We do have extra time and penalties if the teams are level after 90 minutes. Sun shining, semi-final starting. And uh, Pascal Gross, versatile. I suspected he would start on the right-hand side of the defence, but you never know with Brighton. Danny Welbeck giving an interview just a few days ago saying, well, we've got three different ways of playing in every game. So they, they do look at the opposition and see what they've set up like. Yeah, and I think it's interesting that McAllister is going to play alongside uh, Casado with Enciso just playing in behind mm. Welbeck. But again, that will change. Yeah, I think we, we got it right on our graphic, but <laughs> I have to tell you all listening, it was a bit of guesswork and Clive Allen's expertise. Thank you, Mike. We got it right at the moment, but it yeah, will change, it I can assure everybody yeah. watching. One-sided here yesterday in favour of the City of Manchester, Manchester City. Uh, domestic rivals looking to make it a historic... As in June, the final, will it be the two Manchester clubs or will Brighton put their recent form, which has been very good, into this pressure cooker of a match? And Martin, looking at the, the, the various situations of both sides and where it, it can be won and lost for me, it's fascinating in, in that central midfield era. With Manchester United having Ericsson and Casemiro and the vast experience that they bring to the team with Fernandes, I wonder if that's going to play a vital part in the favour of Manchester United. Here is Casemiro, who uh, had a big part in the uh, winning of the trophy here. Eight weeks ago, he'd been scoring a goal. Aaron Wambasaka is at right back, which means Dallo, who is more used to playing right back, is being used on the left. It's happened a few times recently. He's done well in the last Premier League game, went through to score at Nottingham Forest. Well, injuries and suspensions obviously has uh, limited Ten Hag's uh, decisions in that Manchester United rear guard. First Rashford raid. I think Marcus Rashford felt that he was caught as he rolled that ball into the 18 yard box. He was caught late. Referee Craig Paulson just waved the game on. Well, sometimes you do say the incident came too early for the referee. Huh? I'm not sure we're getting it. We do hear what VAR are saying. We're not hearing anything at the moment. And Ciso actually was damaged in that a little bit as well. He's limping. So not good early news for Brighton. It was a poor touch by Martial. Caicedo seems OK, or does he? Uh, just limping a little. Yeah. Adam Webster alongside Lewis Dunk. Dunk, the, uh, the loyalist of servants. Matoma trying to put his imprint on the game for the first time and needs to help Brighton keep the ball. Gross. who do take control of many games in this manner with their controlled possession football. Here's March. They are missing Evan Ferguson, who is a big physical presence in the middle. Teenager who sadly got injured, from Brian's point of view, sadly got injured at Chelsea uh, last weekend. He would have liked to have had him out there, the Zerbi. Yeah, he's a young talent leading the line. He's had a fantastic season. It's interesting to see uh, De Gea go long, longer, certainly than in Seville. Yeah, it's almost as if they're encouraging that Brighton press. They know Brighton are going to come press high, so they're just going to play beyond that in the early stages, Manchester United. That will be 
A very sensible, logical reason. Another reason would be they don't want to be caught out like they were on Thursday. Estipinian breaking forward. Here's Mitoma, who is the wizard of dribble. And it's just outside, and it's certainly a foul. Just an exceptional change of pace from Matoma when he comes inside Juan Pesaka. I think it was Fernandez who actually clipped him. Oh, Anthony trying to come back and protect his fullback. You can see steps across him, nowhere near playing the ball. Free kick given. He was the culprit. Quite a discussion going on involving well, Solly, Solly March had gone across, but I think uh, McAllister is the one with his right foot, Solly March with his left. They're the options for this Brighton free kick. Yeah, and Ciso was part of the conversation. He doesn't speak much English, so, but McAllister would have helped. <laughs> De Gea crouches. It's McAllister. Oh, it's close. It's a corner. Well, he De Gea, reached it, De Gea. De Gea just took a step to the right, Martin. I thought that McAllister maybe have just fooled him going into the far side of the goal. But it was a strong right hand, a strong top right hand from De Gea. Look at the step right, just a slight step right. But covers that side, oh, it is the keeper's side to cover. Wasn't it? The free certainly kick. good strike. Yeah. So the set piece nearly. Another one to come now from Sully March's left foot. And it could go short here. Be two against one. But they don't. And that doesn't get past the, uh, the front zone, which is guarded by Bruno Fernandes. Well, interesting that Gross comes out, just really to pull one Manchester United defender out. Obviously, doesn't play, take part in it, but he's just drawing one of the defenders out to give Marsh the opportunity to deliver, poor delivery into that near post area. Well back. He's done some damage since he left Manchester United to the Red Devils. He scored a crucial goal in an FA Cup quarter-final for Arsenal, the club he left Old Trafford for. Gross. It's gone out in the end. Anthony's hit a vein of form. He started, he scored in his first three Premier League appearances, but it was only uh, last weekend when he added to that in terms of league goals. And it was surprised to see him defending in that left back position, normally yeah. playing wide on the right. Rashford's actually out on the right at the moment. It's a good touch by Anthony. Linking up with Bruno Fernandes. Plenty in red shirts getting forward. March with the header. Come back from uh, Lindelof. Yeah, and they have switched, Martin. Anthony's on the left. Welbeck is on the oh, right. Caught through the middle and Ericsson. Brian Lewis Dunk has a look at Webster, the two centre backs. And that could have been one of the softer goals in a semi final. Oh, yeah, they would have been furious. Just a straight ball between the two centre halves. And uh, the hair goes long again, but not straight. Kept in by Rashford. Martial. It was hard to predict at his best. He's a match winner. He's won a semi final here before. But at other times, you uh, get to half time, you think we never mentioned him. Well, he will be the one that I think is a fixture that stays central. Lee tries to lead the line, will drop to allow midfield players to run beyond him. But it'll be unlikely to see him in the wider positions. Brighton pushing for European qualification. If they win the FA Cup, of course, that takes them in. Can do it by league position. Gross. 
gets another go at it. March. Shout for handball. Referee probably had a better angle on it than we did. And it's being checked. No, it's played against the hand by Solly March. He was actually trying to prod that ball through for Gross's run. And it's high, probably clipping him on the shirt on the right arm. Anthony thought he could let it run and chase, but uh, Dunk had his number that time. Robert Sanchez in goal, Spain international, lost his place in the Premier League. Side to Jason Steele, who's been around a long time and not played much Premier League football. But, uh, he was missing last week through injuries on the bench today, which suggests that Sanchez is the cup goalkeeper. Yes, stupid man. And a lot of green grass to uh, do his work in, but the ball just deflected out. Clever Brighton move, it really was. Estupanem took the space that Mitoma created by running inside. Got good contacts in Ecuador. They've got good contacts worldwide, Marty. They really have. The recruitment's been exceptional, including uh, replacing a manager. Uh, painful one when you get onto the uh, the tarmac. Gross did. That's the. Uh, Greg Paulson, I think, just calming Anthony yeah. down. There's a, a dual developing between him and Gross on this right-hand side of Brighton's attack. Here's Gross getting away from Anthony. Running up Enciso, who scored that uh, stunner at Stamford Bridge last weekend. Well, I think his first control just lets him down, Martin, because as it's fired to him, good work, well-crafted on the right, fired into his... In CISO, and as he controls it, it just pops up. He then tries to strike it off the outside of his right boot and doesn't make the contact that he was looking for. 19 years old, Paraguayan. And what a goal he scored last <laughs> week, we mustn't forget that. Headed on by Rashford, Anthony's back on the right. He's getting away from Gross for the time being. Sanchez picking his pass, as Brighton loved to do. March. He's having the best season of his career, Solly March. He can mark that in goals scored. He's been an occasional scorer in his past years of service, but something's clicked. I mean, it's the deserve his style of management. Slightly different role. Maybe just the experience he's gained, Martin, yeah. as well. Just fulfilled, fulfilled undoubtedly the potential he had as a young player. Can't get away here because uh, Rashford foul by uh, confused Enciso. Casemiro, that's a, a wayward one, a player of such experience and quality. Welbeck, almost through for Enciso. Ericsson. Now Anthony's got to run a dunk. Tama got back, Erickson on the scene. A lot of room here for Bruno Fernandes, parried by Sanchez. That was a huge gap. Good United move to give Fernandes the first shooting opportunity of the match for Manchester United. Wasn't the fiercest shot, Martin, but well, well dealt with by Sanchez. Here's Rashford. It's a lovely ball, oh, he couldn't quite take it in his stride. Millimetres in that. Well, this is certainly Manchester United's idea that when Martial just drops, it is for midfield players to get forward. Fernandez does that, opens up, winds the shot towards the far corner, probably doesn't get the pace or dip that he was requiring, comfortably dealt with by Sanchez. 
Brighton have never beaten Manchester United in the FA Cup. They go looking for history this afternoon. And here's Gross in a great position to create it. Oh, and it was taken away from Estupinian by Mitoma. I think it was the left back's ball. I think you're right, Martin. Matoma with his back to goal tries to swivel and strike, and as he does, he just takes it off of the toe of Estupinan as he's arriving. Again, down the right, Marsh and Gross combining well, cut back, well back, miss kick, and then the touch there. He just trying to swivel and hit with his left foot, takes it away from his left back. Action at both ends is as we expected, Clive. Absolutely, it's a game unfolding as we expected. Well won by Webster, but it breaks for Fernandez. Anthony gets it back from Martial. Bruno Fernandez is in again, prodded goalwards. Still got it. Harrison was waiting for a cutback. Two dunk blocks, brilliant defending. The Brighton captain, Red Fernandez, as he tries to come back inside. Again, just making headway in that midfield area. Anthony pass, cuts back inside Fernandez. Dunk read it well. Well, we know Brighton can attack, but are we sure? They've got the defensive stability against the side. Maybe not at full strength for Manchester United, but they've got a lot of big game players, big name players. Here's Solly March. I'd like to get it on his left foot and shoot, but uh, Christian Eriksen is aware of that. Well, he's on the floor at the moment, Solly March. He thought he was caught as he released the ball. Don't go too far away from your televisions. This is shaping up to be something special in the second FA Cup semi-final of 2023. I think attack is the best form of defence for both sides. Manchester United having to patch up the back line. The way Brighton play, they do at times ask their defenders to deal one-on-one -on -one with opponents and yeah, that's OK if you come out on top, but it's not something most coaches encourage. And no, you have to be very confident in your defending ability to match up with your opposition one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Dunk. Webster. Interchange of passes. Get the ball through to and see how strong with Shaw at his back. Pressure put on Caicedo, Manchester United know what an influence he can be. Well, Gross actually stubbed his foot as he planted his, his right foot. He rolled his ankle, Solly Marsh. Yeah, he's in the wars inside the first 20 minutes here. He was a Brighton player when they played that semi-final four years ago and lost 1-0 to Manchester City, but he wasn't in the squad. Just there, as he plants that right foot, you can see the ankle just rolls under him. Deserbi glances over his shoulder and waits for the word from the medics. One thing about ankles is you you can take them up and you you can soldier on, but with the number of substitutes allowed these days, that sort of thing doesn't happen quite as often as it used to. Eric Ten Hag taking the opportunity to have a word in the. Uh, here of Anthony. Nice concern from Dallow. You just hope when you get up, Martin, that it doesn't give way under you once again. Watch the right boot here. As he plants, it rolls under his ankle. You can see the anguish on his face. A 
referee saying, look, I have to get you off the pitch if um, you're going to be able to carry on if you need further treatment. I can tell you, he'll do everything possible to carry on. Oh, without a doubt. I feel for him exactly the same position in the 87 Cup, um, 82 Cup final, Martin, when I rolled my ankle in the second minute and uh, never recovered from it, unfortunately. And nor did Queen's Park Rangers. Well, I, all I can say, I soldered, soldered yeah. on to yeah. half-time, but didn't want to come off, but had to. Dunk underneath it. Made by Estupinian. High boot by Welbeck. The free kick had been given earlier. And then Casemiro. I presume accidentally. Yeah, it was accidentally, yeah. but he has he has trodden on him. The foul's given for Casemiro pulling him back there. We didn't see what actually happened as he moved backwards. But uh, I can tell you, NC so felt it. Dunk. Matoma. It's a clever ball into Welbeck, who came off his man to try and get it to feet. Then. Uh, couldn't quite sure it in, and now he's gone into uh, Bruno Fernandes. Welbeck struck for the ball, but I'm not sure he got a lot of the ball. He did catch Bruno Fernandes. I wonder if I wonder if it's their first semi-final. Those you young United supporters. Well. He's been to Wembley already in his first season and gone away with a piece of silverware. It's always a good way to start for a manager who's had a significant impact. It hasn't all been uh, sweetness and light. There have been some difficult issues to deal with. And when they have lost Manchester United, they've lost and probably badly, really. Think of Anfield. Now, Bruno Fernandes, it's the one common thing, Clive, is that, you know, people are going for the ball. It's a semi-final, you, you don't want to be accused of not being aggressive. Ooh, well, again, that, that, that's an accident. Yeah. He, he's actually trying to strike for the ball, and his right ankle, for me, that's a foul, but then his right ankle ke catches the left boot of McAllister, and he rolls his right ankle with that contact. Well, they were poor without him on Thursday when he was suspended, Bruno Fernandes. It has been such a strange season, a unique season with the um, get up running right from the start of it and then the World Cup break for so many of these players. In terms of break from English football, but a huge fatigue risk. Back at it again straight after the holiday season. Right through, we're going to a cup final in June, Clive. I mean, I think when the history of this season is is written, there will be a lot of analysis about um, the physical data of the players. Well, for many of the Premier League players, obviously they they might well have been participating at the World Cup, but for those who wasn't, they had a break. That would have been structured in terms of the work that they did, but it is the the, the workload of the players that were at the World Cup. Some would have played nearly all the games that their country played. Some would have been there and not played games. So there, there are all so many differing levels that it's so difficult for the coaches. Almost have to treat every player as a one-to-one -one relationship with their physicality. Exactly, exactly. And obviously the sports scientists come into play massively there for the coaches. Yeah, he's just explaining the physio that he's rolled his right ankle. He's, he's going to carry on as well. Got uh, Marcel Sabitzer, of course, who's starting to make a, an impact in his uh, six months or so with United on loan from Bayern. Rashford is now down after a challenge. Well, it looks like a hip or a rib. It 
suddenly from a very flowing game. This has gone to uh, staccato semi-final. Well, there's the Gross steps into him to deny Rashford a clean header. There's not really too much contact. Certainly not an elbow in the ribs. No, that really Rashford's own momentum took him into Gross. Bruno Fernandes is going to battle on. Solly March is battling on. So uh, both uh, limping, though, March. Yeah, they are they are far from free moving. It's uh, ten and a half against ten, ten and a half at the moment. I say that who was the first player to be down on the deck in the opening uh, Manchester United attack. March not trying anything too expansive. Well, the game becoming very disjointed, Mark, Mark, Martin. It just seems that every challenge, every, every contact, a player is then on the floor. Here's Pascal Gross. Hasn't been on the floor yet. Tries to floor Manchester United. Mitoma. Slight in for Estupinha. And he slips and Aaron wan is away. There's a test of uh, Fernandez's ability to run. I'm not sure he was quite in top gear. I don't think he was ever getting there, Martin, no. when he saw Dunk coming across in the manner that he was. He isn't happy, Fernandez. Here's Luke Shaw. Erickson being pressed back. Of course, it was his home ground this for a while with uh, Tottenham. I seem to remember him scoring for Spurs at Wembley against Manchester United. Five's nodding, so it must be right. Yeah, he was uh, quite an exceptional talent at Manchester United and quite an exceptional character. To think that he's playing in an FA Cup semi-final, having experienced what he has, is yeah. something quite remarkable. He's an amazing guy. Game very disjointed in the last five minutes. The flow has been lost. Well, one would suggest we're going to have quite a lump of added time at the end of this first half. We're nowhere near that yet. Ericsson. A little bit risky. By Dunk. Well, here's March. Enciso checking for the edge of the area. March could pick him out, but uh, doesn't look for him, I don't think. Enciso's disappointed. But there is a corner. Well, that was a wonderful McAllister ball, diagonal ball into that space for Solly March to run into. In the end, he just bringing it back on his favoured left foot. Superb delivery. In behind that United defence, and Solly March is coming back onto his favoured left foot. And that's good defending, because he makes sure Dallo, he knows he's going to be attempting to cross with his left, denies him the chance to deliver the cross. Gross to take the corner. Webster going first, leaving it for Dunk coming in behind. The stooping out, the skies. Shape to shoot. Mitoma. Stooping out, fires it across. Shaw's there first for Manchester United. And Martin Shaw made a fabulous physical challenge with Dunk when that first corner came in. He had to be strong, did Luke Shaw, to challenge Dunk, deny him a clear-cut header. Yeah, Lewis Dunk scored 27 goals in his career for Brighton. Well, he was the target, and Luke Shaw was the man detailed to mark him, and he did his job correctly. Here's Webster. And Gross. Welbeck. I say that. McAllister. Stupinia. For Matoma, he's quick, he'll get there. But, uh, very composed defending by Diogo Dallo. Take yeah. a touch and then pass it out and set Manchester United on their way, maybe. It was great defending. He had two options. Matoma getting to the byline. That was Welbeck 
and it was Solly Marsh and he, he couldn't find either. Tomer, of course, is famously in the World Cup. Got that Japan ball that everybody thought had gone over the line to set up a goal. He got this one easily in comparison. Well, you can see that was that was his options. He couldn't find either. And what a touch from Dallo. Full of confidence, first control and then to clear. And Fernandez looking disgruntled this time, not the challenge for the uh, angle of the pass gave him no real chance of collecting it half an hour gone first part of it full of attacking intent and football that was very easy on the eye from both teams and we've had this uh, catalogue of stoppages right trying to get going again and see so the toma this is where they're so good can be very good and see so following up well, he's allowed him to have the shot, I guess. He struck it, but Juan Bissaka's challenge had to be spot on. As Mitoma comes in off the line, Juan Bissaka's making up ground from behind him, in from the side. That's a good challenge. Chance is there to strike from Inciso. He slices it just wide, but that is a good tackle from Juan Bissaka. It was which, a brilliant tackle. Of which his teammates certainly praised him for, and rightly so. He takes a bit of catching, Mitoma. And Juan Pesaka, who is uh, known for his speed defensively, is uh, probably his number one strength to make those sort of challenges. Hard person to get away from. And the right choice, you feel, against a very pacey dribbling player. Nauru Mitoma. Making not just great strides, but very quick strides in the English football. Well, Casado's penalised, he just, just nudges Martial in the back, who then does fall rather dramatically. Yes, there's a push, over he goes. That's a poor challenge from Casado. So one of a number of Brighton players being chased by so-called bigger clubs, the richer clubs, clubs with the greater resources. But this group with Brighton still want to do something special. And they've got a little bit of special defending. To an Ericsson free kick. There's Anthony. It's a back across, but to Brighton had just made Manchester United push back a bit and made it easier space for the goalkeeper. Yes, yeah, good defending. As soon as the ball's cleared, they come up that five yards, clear the six-yard box. Dunk. And see so. In this first half, the sides attacking the goal behind which are the supporters of the side that's defending. I think the, the noise level will go up even higher in the second half. He's been quite quiet by his standards, isn't there? A couple of dismissals with Premier League dugouts. Yeah, very reserved to this point, Mr. Yeah. De Zerbi. Well, I think they're enjoying their day out. They'll be pleased with the way their team's gone about it. It has been a as we th we thought a very tight semi-final thought it was a rival for the Carlo Ancelotti eyebrow then but not quite maybe here's Dunk it's interesting De Zerbi is quite animated Ten Hag has stood motionless, probably for a couple of minutes, literally like a statue in the Manchester United technical area, and he still hasn't moved yet. Well, I'll be hoping his defenders don't stand like statues as Brighton press on. A 
He's taking his hands out of his pocket, Martin. <laughs> that counts as movement. <laughs> Webster they come and try and nick it off as someone will play around you. That's what Brighton were trying to do, and quite complete the intention. Toma chasing back. Brilliant from Matoma. Uh, look, not dissimilar from Casemiro. But, uh, it was definitely not the same because he's booked for it. Well, he's saying no, Casemiro, but the referee is kicking through the back. You cannot kick through the back of an opponent. No. That is a yellow card offence. The referee's absolutely right. Tries to win it initially there, but then look at the way that right leg goes through the back of McAllister. The referee's correct. And you know what the rivalry between Brazil and Argentina is, and you've had a cameo of it there. But uh, McAllister can show off his World Cup winner's medal. But he wants an FA Cup winner's medal now, and the, another step towards it, an ultimate step here. It's uh, for Matomo's, and that challenge, I think, got caught in the face. It's blood coming from his nose. Well, it was a brilliant tackle, Martin, but he, uh, yeah. He's... It was of the wan textbook, wasn't it? Absolutely, he's back on now. Cisse trying to take it on the half turn, and he makes the interception. Now he's on the ball. Gross. Holbeck wanted it crossed in. Match deciding not to do that either. Martial did well. He got the ball and then got the free kick. And look at the Manchester United player surrounding Craig Paulson. They feel that Webster should get a yellow card for that challenge. But this is something the game's got to deal with. There is too much surrounding of the officials by players, partly because they keep asking for VAR, which is there anyway. But the difference there is that he actually is pulling out of the challenge. He does make contact, yes. Ten arms furious, but he makes contact. But he's not kicking through the back of the opponent. That's the difference, I, I feel, in the interpretation from the referee. He doesn't feel that warrants a yellow card for the nature of the challenge. Robert Jones, the fourth official, trying to explain that to Eric Ten Hag. Dallow. Seven, uh, seven minutes of regulation time to go to half time, but uh, it will be a fair bit to add, one feels. Ericsson, now Martial, and wan away, and Matoma's got to defend again. Anthony. It's the kind of game where you feel scoring first will mean a huge amount. Manchester United looking to do it here, Bruno Fernandes stopped uh, efficiently and emphatically. Will he run into... Estupinan was... Estupinan yeah. just stood his ground, and Fernando Fernandez just ran into him. He screamed, he hit the deck, and I think he's all right. Tries to cut back, and you see, Estupinan just holds his ground. Good defending. Well, he's uh, a strong... Character, the right left back, strong of mind, strong of body. Bruno Fernandez has more of an artistic temperament. Yeah. Ericsson, Dallo setting off ahead of him, but Ericsson played the safer pass. Lindelof, a little burst. Martin, it's a game that's just bubbling under at the moment. Dallo. And stop the cross is the message to Moises Caicedo, and stop it, he did. Yeah, good defending. Again, always the call when defending for 
in wide position, stop the crosses coming in. Casado does a good job there, but does obviously concede the corner. First minute, Christian Eriksen. It's a very deep one. Lindelof will be the target. Toma breaks out. Supported by March, but pass just made him put the brakes on. Just slightly overhit. Had three or four other players he could have played. The ball too. Here's Gross. Pressure by Shaw, prepared to go in there and joust with Welbeck. And Cesar caught by Lindelof. Does like to take the ball on the half turn, the Paraguayan. It's a real skill, and defenders a hate it. Absolutely, Martin. There's been two or three occasions where he just receives the ball, twisting and turning. You can see. Lindelof's pulling the shirt off his back as he's spinning away from him. The way he's accepting the ball, he's asking real questions of those uh, United centre-halves. Well, there might have been a few more fouls than that, but... Uh... But it's just like the game, it's pretty even, 5-4. Yeah, yeah. Not all the stoppages have been through fouls. What are you thinking here, Clive, as a player for Brighton? Get to half time oh, as we are and come again? Or I think maintain this game plan the yeah. way they're setting about it, the football they're playing, the way they're trying to open up Manchester United. And here's uh, Lindelof just getting to it. Well, Matoma got the run on Wampasaka and Lindelof read it well to come across. You can say they're trying to nick it well forward. Good defensive header by Adam Webster. Ericsson. He's trying to ease it out to Rashford, who sadly had uh, an involvement in the game. He has had a quiet first half as Marcus Rashford. And we got that uh, blow in the ribs. He has been out for a couple of games recently. Fantastic season, 28 goals. Dunk. And see, so nearly ran back for the Paraguayan. Ericsson. Good pressure again from Casido on Ericsson, not allowing him to pick the pass as he's trying to just break those lines in Brighton's midfield, Christian Ericsson. A word from the far side. Under the dugout, says it's going to be three added minutes. Oh, here's Bruno Fernandes with a chance to make the most of the regulation time that's left. Martin, that's a big chance, but it's really well crafted by Manchester United and a wonderful side foot volley from Casemiro to give the chance for Fernandes, and he's just slightly pulled across it. That volley superbly passed. Waited into his path, can't hit the target. Martial's just shot him a glance to say, well, you could have slid that across. You can see the Frenchman was uh, unattended at the far post. It's always difficult to hit those shots from that kind of angle and keep them absolutely straight. Well, you just cut across the ball a little bit. Unless it's hit Drag perfectly, it, yeah. there's, there's only a small window to hit on that far side. See so in a wrestling match with Shaw. But, uh, then went on the chase. There's too much of that in the game for me, Martin. Just players pulling, grabbing, just just wrestling with one another in challenges. De Gea had a disastrous night on Thursday. It would be just like him to have a peerless performance here. Martial, well, he saw the goalkeeper off his line, and it was worth the try. 
And what a chance, he knows. Because Sanchez is out of his penalty box. As that ball is turned over, you can see he's backpedalling. He gets back as far as his penalty spot. But Martial just trying to chip it over him into the empty net. Here's McAllister. March. Well, he could do. He's done his head to it. It might have been better just letting it go out because Manchester United can build from here. Brighton tried to press and stop that happening. Casemiro. Well, there's a little tap from McAllister. There's words now between him. Yeah. And Casemiro, De Serbi is not happy with it, with that decision anyway. Eric Ten Hag's got out of uh, De Zerbi's the verbal firing line. It just seemed to me, just from his body language, Marty, his concerns about his team and the way that they're playing at the moment. Lindelof's header, nicely done by Bruno Fernandes. Aronson going for the uh, Hollywood pass, and it's found Marcus Rashford. Half-time closing and Manchester United closing in, and Eriksen found himself on the end of a move that he played a big part in. And I think he just mishit it. What a sensational pass off the outside of his right boot to Marcus Rashford. Watch this, the touch, and that is superb. R Rashford stays on side, he's then one-on-one -on -one with Gross, picks out the supporting... Ericsson, but that shot into the ground just allows Sanchez to clear right with his right boot. Closing seconds before half time. Martial sliding, uh, Luke Shaw not quite in. Five, what have you? Uh, how would you score it at this point at nil nil, if you know what I mean? At nil nil? Yeah, I, I think I mean, if, if you looked at. Taking the boxing analogy, who's, uh, who's landed the better blows so far? I think it's just been an even contest. Yeah. Neither side has really taken control. And when there's been the moments, and there's been few of them, they just haven't had that cutting edge either team to uh, to make it count. Oh, there's another moment. Yeah. <laughs> Martin, they're, they're out, but only just yes. are they out. That's the margins of the half, really. Can they make it count? Here's March, and it's half-time. Well, that uh, has flown by. Yeah, but that was bizarre because the referee blew the whistle as Solly March is crossing the ball. Mm. Well, Christian Eriksen had a shot late in the half, but uh, well, it's uh, plenty from Brighton to be pleased with. They haven't quite worked ahead maybe as much as they could have done. Mitoma's had his moments. Bruno Fernandes has been in and out of it. His best parts have been very good, been a bit grumpy as well. Um, it's been football-wise good, but physically as well, it's been a strong game. And we reach half-time without a goal, and we're still no nearer knowing who'll play Manchester City early in June in the FA Cup final. It'll all unfold after the break. The second is underway. I'm sure many of you have uh, noted that unusually Manchester United won all four rounds to get to the semi-final by three goals to one. That's 12 goals in total. The last 11 of those 12 have come in the second half, which uh, is a, a positive omen for that man. It certainly is, but I think he'll take one at the moment just to get his team in front. And the way this game is unfolding, it could well be that one goal that is going to make the difference. Headed by Webster. Caicedo. Here's March. Very left footed from the right. The inverted winger, as they're called. It almost uh, feels like Manchester United believe there will be errors made by Brighton. That 
sort of digging in, waiting for those mistakes to happen. There's been two or three that the uh, team from the South Coast have got away with. And here comes Anthony, who started the first half well and then faded, but he's not fading here. He's trying to roll it across to Martial, and that's Tupinian nearly took it back into trouble. But Martial just didn't attack the space at the near post area. Anthony just rolled it into that area, expecting Mar Martial to attack it, and he didn't. And tied it up by the Brighton defence once again. It's a good break. He's one on one with Dunk. You see, with his head up, he's looking for the options. It's just a pass into that area. Martial, for me, a fraction late. Should really be trying to get across the front of Webster. Anthony again, taken from him by a combination of McAllister and Matoma. Anthony has stayed down. Stupinian to March. Still going. Plenty back. And give it back to Sully March, Manchester United. A real scramble. Where's well, Casemiro that just almost passed the ball back to Solly March. Really sloppy. Here's Dunk. Now Matoma. McAllister. And again, Enciso just trying to kick the defender in and roll in behind. It's a signature move, it seems. March. Caicedo, Stupinian. He who hesitates loses the ball. Brighton have it back and they're making a strong start to the second half. And they are probing, they're keeping the ball high up the field, looking March. for that pass. Corner. That can make the all important chance. Good start from Brighton Hove Albion. Some teams really believe in crowding David De Gea, it's not the Brighton way. What is the Brighton way is to, as you spotted in the first half, I have to have a second player out there. Yeah, that's just for the variation across right-footed outswinger, left-footed in-swinger. Looks like it's coming in in-swinging. The three headers for Brighton are on the penalty spot. And one of them is Lewis Dunk, who heads it back. To uh, Stupinian, who goes for power and sacrifices accuracy. Well, it's clever. Dunk heads it back for Stupinian. He takes a touch, pulls away, soft cushion header. He then takes a touch but fires wildly. Well, Manchester United haven't got going yet in the second half. Just that, well, to be fair, there was that break from Anthony that. Martial could have attacked much better than he did. It's been predominantly the Seagulls in the loft. Well, I do wonder if uh, their travels and the result on Thursday night might play a part the longer this game goes on as well, Marty. And he wasn't sure, the assistant, that whether it ran down, Anthony thought it did. Of uh, Stupinian. We are not amused. Dunk. to lure Manchester United in here. Not wanting to go long. Actually, uh, they do win a free kick. Yeah, Martial on Casado. 
He's trying to defend from the front. Is the Manchester United centre forward? Zerbi made his name in Italy with the Sassuolo, a small club, but he made very competitive in Serie A. Then he went to Ukraine at the wrong time. He had a 30 games in charge of Shakhtar Donetsk before the world changed. Off goes uh, Enciso. De Gea finding Shaw. Shaw finding Dallo. It's a bit short, and uh, Caicedo stepped in. And Luke Shaw is going to be booked for that. Really Taking clever. one for the team. Absolutely. Caicedo did brilliant. First to take the ball away from Casemiro there and around him. And when he toes that ball forward, the challenge from Shaw was one of stop him at all costs. Cost being a yellow card for the uh, stand-in centre-back. Played uh, a lot of games here for England as the left-back scored, of course, in the uh, Euro 2020 final. Dunk. Get to it, he did get to it. I see so. Martial not looking like a defender, really. Just did enough, Martin, in yeah, the end. He did. Here's McAllister. Brighton asking the questions. Well, it's Brighton taking the game to United, who are sitting back. They just seem to be happy to defend and wait for that slight mistake or wait for the opportunity with the turnover of the ball to counter. And Sisa, cross goes Lindelof, gets the ball. So for the ex-Manchester United player, my current one. Off the official. Talking at half time, uh, Clive, about Pascal Gross, who's uh, a prophet without honour in his homeland, as the old saying goes. He's not really rated in German football. He's done a wonderful job, Brighton, in very different circumstances as a side fighting for their lives to stay in the Premier League, and now a side that's uh, going to qualify for Europe from the Premier League. And I think, as we see today, his versatility is. Uh... Quite incredible, and the Serbi will appreciate that. Here's Dunk. He's trying to make the space to play into. Just didn't have to come up with an answer. Stupinian. Caught by Anthony. Of course, and lets the game go on. Matoma's grateful for that. He's isolated Juan Bissaka here. And, uh, well played the defender. Anthony. Bruno uh, Fernandes is down again. I just feel Brighton are a little bit sharper. They're a little bit quicker at the mm. moment, Martin. They're a little bit pedestrian, Manchester United. Not moving the ball quick enough, getting caught too often. In possession of the ball. They're looking like uh, a group of players, many of whom played on Thursday. Webster. And uh, that sense of fatigue only enhanced, really. Let's go and get a corner. Well, should he have cleared it first time? I think he's probably feeling that now. He's tried to control it as Lindelof, and in the end, concedes the corner. If they do go short this time. Dunk coming round the back. Matoma. Fire it through a lot of bodies. Oh! It was Enciso's drive in the end that De Gea dealt with. Oh, it's a fabulous strike from Enciso. Snapshot with that left foot. 
Casemiro headed off the line. I think it's Webster's head up that's cleared by Casemiro. Mitoma fires it in, and in the end, and CISO, instinctive strike. That might well just be staying under the crossbar. De Gea, good fingertip save. And then CISO got the better of a Spanish goalkeeper at Stamford Bridge last weekend. Kepa Arisa Balago has taken over from David De Gea in the national team. Well, that was a right foot thunderbolt, wasn't it, Martin? This was a left foot snapshot, which De Gea did well to keep out. Webster going in again, and round the back. Chance, that's a big one. chance. Annoyed Danny Welbeck that he didn't convert it. He did score with a header at uh, Chelsea. And you see, he breaks off of the shoulder of Martial. That's a clear header. He'll be really disappointed he hasn't headed that down on target. And he'll be doing it too. They are taking on the team that's well, the club that's played more FA Cup semi-finals than any other. It's the 31st for Manchester United today. Only the third for Brighton. They got to the final and lost to Manchester United in 1983. They beat Sheffield Wednesday. And in 2019, they lost to the eventual winners, Manchester City. And there's action from uh, Eric Ten Hag. Fred's getting ready to come on. Provide a bit of energy in the middle of the field where they're getting outmaneuvered at the moment yeah. putting a lot of pressure on the back line and, and now the goalkeeper I agree Martin I think certainly uh, he needs to impact his team does the manage up and that time's approaching the hour mark there is Anthony trying to he was trying to whip it in, so that's his, uh, I suppose his signature goal, isn't it, when he comes in on his left foot. As you talk about inverted wingers, he's one. Well, that is his favourite side. Fernandes does really well with a little pass into him, then he goes on the overlap. He wants it cut back into his path, does Fernandes. But Anson, he's always going inside, looking for that left foot shot. Appreciates and acknowledges the run, but he just had one thing in his mind there. Dunk. Surveying the scene here at Wembley. Almost an hour gone in the second semi-final. Done and dusted by this time yesterday, really, with that Riyad Mahrez hat-trick for Manchester City against Sheffield United. The first semi-final hat-trick since one for Manchester United. Even before Clive's time, I do remember it. Alex Dawson against Fulham in 1958, which is a very poignant year, of course, for the Old Trafford Club. I wasn't born, Martin. Here's McAllister. March. And it's a touch from De Gea. It's a throw-in. And it was a Stupinan who was forward there. When that direct pass went forward, it's a Stupinan who tries to control it, but it pops out to... McAllister who feeds it wide to March, and this time he goes with a right foot cross. And again, that's an important touch from De Gea. Webster. Got a bit lucky. But, uh, Casemiro reckoned with a bit of space to loft the ball into, and he was absolutely right. So Marcus Rashford, of whom we've seen precious little, really. Stopped by Webster. He got back, Martin. He was dispossessed higher up the field, but he got back with Webster to dispossess Rashford. Lovely touch by March. One from Caicedo. Juan Bissaka steps in. He was fouled. He's uh, gone and got the ball with Gusto. Now he's really been put back. But the referee letting play go on, which is right. And Anthony's got a chance because of it. Got... Toma gets it away. It's, it's brilliant sort of... referee in Manchester United nearly capitalise on the the advantage, I just think he's going to come back and book a Stupinan when the game does eventually stop. Anthony. There's a bit of a push by Casemiro in the middle. Oh, and now... Frank Paulson has turned away from that one as well. 
That did look like a, a break was on for Pez. In CISO spinning in behind Linden off there. Well, in, um, in trying to let the game flow, yeah, could easily have stopped it for Stupinian, but it was a good advantage for Manchester United. Christian Eriksen is coming off just past the hour mark. Be replaced by Fred. So was he given the foul here? I don't know whether he did. And CISO was interrupted shall we say well the referee has just signaled that it's a throw in martin yeah. so i don't think he, he would have given it straight away wouldn't he, if it's in it's quite close to it so, yeah the team need a bit of refueling as well Well, for me, this Tupinan is very fortunate. Yeah. It wasn't particularly violent, was it? But um, had the game been stopped, he would certainly been booked. But because it wasn't stopped, he's got the benefit, I guess, of the referee letting the game go. In the way, like I said, it's a rare misplaced pass in the second half from Brighton. But a good Manchester United press, which we haven't seen in this second half. Lindelof. Casemiro, it's another well-delivered pass. If there's a runner, and the runner with Bruno Fernandes. Anthony closing in again, pushed away by Sanchez. Retrieved by Martial. Much better from Manchester United. It was much needed. Sure. Martial. Here's Rashford. Taken down by Ancisa. Good spell for Manchester United. And Anthony with the shot. Didn't really hit it with any power that was pushed away by Sanchez. But United pressing, keep the ball alive. And then Rashford through McAllister's legs, takes it away from Inciso, pull back from behind, and United free kick. This was a Casemiro ball in behind Fernandez, who run as soon as that ball went square, he took off, knew where Anthony was. It wasn't the fiercest of shots, and Sanchez once again He's had a keeps couple it out. Casemiro, hasn't he? Turn the defenders. But it only looks really good if there's somebody running into that channel. Yeah, it's a ball into the space, but it yeah. is all about the runners. It's all been part of a slight change in the tide here. It's flowing Brighton's way. Well, a really good position, free kick wise for Manchester United. Well, a couple of major candidates, Bruno Fernandes, with placement and stealth, whip and dip. Yeah, but Fred the Mar Sub Marcus Fred Rashford, who just puts his foot through it. Yeah, Fred the substitute, just been told to go and make extra numbers in the wall. Yeah. And that's exactly well, what they've done. You're not allowed to be there unless you're a metre away. I think it's what the Brighton players are saying, and Craig Pawson have just gone to enforce that part of the legislation. It has to be a metre away that's just about now Rashford uh, Martial rather has gone wandering across so take your pick from these two it's Fernandez the ball Fernandez again into the crowd well you can see the frustration on his face and it is a poor poorly struck free kick in terms of the height it's never going up and over that wall Webster you can see just punches after making the block. So Joel Veltman, who has more often than not been in the team and experienced signing from Ajax, Dutch international, and the youngster Julio Enciso, certainly again giving us more than a glimpse of the talent that Brighton have 
brought into by bringing in another player from another South American country. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic young talent and CISO. A big game and he's he's acquitted himself very, very well. So Feltman will go to right back, one assumes. Which will allow Gross to play a bit further forward, maybe a bit more centrally as well. Yeah, Gross going in there, almost matching up now with Fred, who's been introduced by Manchester United. What a scuff pass from Caicedo. Shaw stepping in. Fred. Hasn't been the most successful period in Manchester United's history the last five or six years, but there are plenty of uh, players with winners' medals in their ranks, maybe not all with the, this club, but... Most of them were winners here at Wembley just eight weeks ago against Newcastle. We've had quite a day today, incidentally. Casemiro. I'll see how I won't get there. Well, it's a clever attempt. He scoops that ball over the top of Brighton's defence. But the run of uh, Martial couldn't get on the end of it. Manchester United have had to eliminate uh, three fellow Premier League sides and Everton, West Ham and Fulham. Fulham was uh, up in a chaotic situation where the manager and two players were sent off. Yeah, I think you would say Brighton have had the slightly easier of runs to get here. But they did knock out the holders, Clive, didn't they? Liverpool. Absolutely, which was an, an, an amazing result. You have to beat everybody to win this. <laughs> well, they beat uh, Grimsby from League Two. Start of their progress. Oh, and it goes from Shaw. Backed up for Manchester United by Casemiro. Juan Bissaka. This Peters out though for Ten Hag's team. That last five minutes, a better spell from Manchester United. <laughs> it's unlucky, it was uh, another indication how they want to play there. Even the longer passes from the back are passes, not just clearances. Such a difficult pass, a diagonal yeah. to uh, into the path of the on-running fullback. Should have squeezed that through. Reach Fernandez. Martial. He's on the chase. Flag is up. Twenty minutes of the ninety left, and of course the uh, recognition of extra time should it be required? Penalties should they be required? It has happened actually here before for Manchester United. They lost the semi-final on penalties to Everton. Berbatov and Rio Ferdinand were the culprits in the shootout. Just in time. Development. Martial. 
Bit of grabbing by Webster. There's good hold-up play into his feet. See keeping his body between the ball and Webster, and then in the end he just hooks his ankle away from him. Fred. Lindelof. Fred. It's a bundle of energy. Good solid defending by um, Solly March on that far side. Fred has scored a couple of goals in this uh, progress to the semi final for Manchester United against Reading and West Ham. Dunk, fitting it forward to Estupinian. And left back of the uh, attacking persuasion. McAllister. It's well back. Uh, he uh, took as much of the man, if not more of the man, than the ball. Free kick in yes. Lindelof's favour. Slightly heavy touch, Martin, as that ball's fed to him by Solly March. It's a clever ball. Plays the one-two, goes for the return. Then Lindelof across. He crashes into Lindelof. He might well have been a, suffered a little bit of a dead leg himself there as they come together. Mentioned 18-year-old uh, Evan Ferguson, Brighton's top scorer in the FA Cup. He had three goals. Not fit today. Well back. The different end of his career, really. A different part of his career towards the end. Ex-England, we have to call him now, but a good international career. And very popular figure in the game. Now, Dennis Undav. Going to replace Welbeck. Ruefully, but in the end, sensibly. Yeah, that is unfortunate for Danny Welbeck. Being replaced by number 21, Dennis Wunder. Wunder scored in the third round at Middlesbrough, a big win. And in the quarter final, home to Grimsby, in a big win. So he's. Uh, a feeling for the FA Cup. Can he make himself a hero for Brighton? You're right, Martin. Opportunity knocks now for him. Here's Martial. Maybe opportunity knocking for Manchester United, and not this time. But maybe this time. And today. Bruno Fernandes able to turn. And Sanchez, although he had to reach out forward rather than take it in the line of his body, and he's always going to get there before Anthony Martial. Well, there's a bit of an inquest going on on that Manchester United front line when Fernandes turned with the ball. They thought he might well have struck it before chipping it towards that back post area. I don't think he realised how much room he had. I think that was what was being said. He was saying that he, he just wasn't given the information. Here's Dunk.
And again. McAllister can play a bit further forward now. Gross in midfield. It's a real difference in terms of fixtures. It's Brighton's 37th. Manchester United's 53rd. So, if freshness is a factor, maybe it's... Uh, we'll see the Seagulls producing a, a firm finish here. And it's Dallow on the break. Advantage played again well by Craig Pawson. Well, Casado was on the floor, but it was yeah. his challenge. But Dallo they they don't like to show the yellow card until the player gets up. Until... Uh, Which is why players say yes. yes down a bit. He did catch Dallo before he, he released the ball to yeah. uh, Marcus Rashford. Yeah. Cross, yeah. That is late, that is a poor challenge. Advantage played once again by referee Craig Pawson. Okay, so those kind of players always in the thick of the mix in midfield. And from the, uh, the top of the club, Tony Bloom runs it with uh, extraordinary diligence and expertise. I'm thinking, surely we're going to win a big one here and get to an FA Cup final. He will remember the one back in 1983. Well, Rash was on the floor, Veltman stepped in front of him, he felt he was clipped. And that last break from Brighton, just sloppy from Estupinan. At that last moment, the vital moment when you need that quality of pass, just sloppy off the outside of his boot, gave the ball away needlessly. Webster, it, it has been a bit like that, hasn't it, both sides? They've got into a position where a good final ball Right. Produce a goal to get into a, a final. Not quite managed that key last pass, but his march now. In a way, by Shaw. Webster, I don't think, can avoid a yellow card this time. He's run away to try and avoid it. Craig Pawson has been keeping his cards close to his chest, shall we say? He has, yeah. And I thought it may be just the theatrics of Martial here. Yes, he pulls him, but then the way he throws himself to the ground. Free kick given rightly. There's a certain amount of consistency here in not showing the card. We're almost into the territory where like that uh, famous training game, first goal wins. <laughs> yeah. Or it's next goal wins. It's getting to that sort yeah. of time. Yeah. Joel Veltman. Now Dunk. Matoma might get there. Chopped off one Basaka. There's McAllister. Caicedo. March. Now Gross. Fred's there. And that was just an example of it, Martin. Yeah. Solly Marsh's pass was, was just not precise enough. Gross then has to adjust his run. Fred's across quickly and the whole move breaks down. And even for two sets of players with experience, Premier League experience, you're going into the period of the game where you don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to. You don't want to slip. Whether it's you, you, you just you're just not going to take that little bit of risk that could be costly. Mitchell and Van der Haag and Steve McLaren flanking Eric Ten Hag. Bit of a brain's trust going on there. Brighton going on here. Mitoma. Estupinha. Caicedo. Have a change of direction again. Ooh, and he's blocked up now. 
Casemiro's on a yellow card, but I don't think he did too much wrong. Uh, the referee's letting this go on as well. Well, did Casemiro foul? Then was he fouled? But the referee's just waved two, two <laughs> possible decisions for free kicks away, and the game goes on. Yeah. And amazingly, <laughs> the players are up and, and are back in the action yeah. very quickly. Yeah, Casemiro's not fully focused on the ball. He is now. Of course, he's been sent off twice in his first season with Manchester United. Here's March. Still going. And uh, De Gea got it the first time and got it the second time as uh, Pascal Gross tried to feed on the right rebound. He could have been offside. Well, Solly March coming off that right side, looking for the angle on his favoured left foot. Mm. Shapes to hit it the first time, moves it again, then tries to pull it back into that near post. De Gea had to be smartly down through Fred's legs. That's a good left hand, and he doesn't push it out. He manages to claim it before Gross can knock it into the net. Talk of a new contract for David De Gea, despite to the errors that are always so public for a goalkeeper, particularly a Manchester United goalkeeper. But there is the suggestion that it will be on reduced terms. I don't think it will involve any great hardship for the De Gea family. And I think he's wanting to stay, isn't he? Yeah. Jaden Sancho. Played an interesting part in that um, Fulham game. It was his shot that was handled on the line by William, which led to uh, a penalty, William being sent off, and also the reaction from Marco Silva, the Fulham manager, and that. Uh, Alexander Mitrovic, who picked up an eight-game suspension for what he did. Here's McAllister. Caught by Anthony. Well, club football's pretty tough in Argentina as well. And I think Alexis McAllister, who comes from a footballing family, of course, knows how to withstand the knocks and it's been a game with plenty of tackles Clive. there's been lots of tackles you're right the referee has been consistent with the way that he's interpreted them and, and issuing yellow cards McAllister oh, reverse took uh, took him down by surprise Real tussle with Anthony. Kicked in by Matoma, but free kick given in Manchester United's favour. Well, it was a surprise when the team sheet came out with Martial's name on it. But Eric Ten Hag has said in the last couple of weeks, we play better football when Martial's in the team. I can understand why he took a chance in it. Was a, Got 85 minutes out of it. Well, he is the leader of the line. He's, the, he's that centre forward. It's now meant Sancho's come on the left. Marcus Rashford is now going to play down the middle for United. Webster going in front of Rashford. Stupinian. Gross played Webster into trouble. And Webster just got out of it. And Webster's back pass and then his follow through has actually caught Marcus Rashford, who's now on the deck. As a look, he can certainly feel that Mar Marcus Rashford is on his shoulder, but playing the ball and the follow through just catches Rashford's left ankle.
course, there is uh, an extra substitute allowed in extra time. Challenge by Caicedo, but Manchester United got on the ball and got to Sancho into the game. Dallo, Fred, Sancho trying to place it. Corner. Well, the shot he tries to wind into the far corner was deflected away for the corner. Set by Fred, he just moves the ball a fraction. And it's Solly March who gets the left boot to it to deflect it away. Bruno Fernandes. Time ticking on, extra time approaching. Great time to score. Matoma is the furthest forward. Won't be phased by that and make sure finds March. He's done very well after that tweak of the ankle quite early in the game. He'll still be out there causing Manchester United problems. Here he is. Callister able to turn space between the lines. And he ran on to uh, Undav and it does go behind for a corner. Well, it's deflected into Undav's path and wan -Bissaka just had to tidy up and can see the corner. seconds plus we're hearing three minutes Brighton trying to produce a goal which would have those fans we're looking at behind that goal in raptures and would have Brighton in the cup final it would seem this late stage second touch was important from Sancho Marcus Rashford back there doing his defensive job at the near post to head that away. Dunk. Extra time you sense would suit Brighton. Given Manchester United's travel schedule. Sancho, uh, Matoma, going uh, all the way through to Undab, cleared by Lindelof. And Sancho gives chase. Yeah, right from the beginning, Martin, we wondered what the toll would be on this Manchester United squad. Not only just playing and travelling from Thursday, but also psychologically the, the defeat that they suffered as well. It's Dupignan, finally winning a corner. Well, the supporters are up this end. And they're perhaps sensing just one last opportunity that could win this FA Cup semi-final. I think of the great finals, the Wigan goal. Something like ten years ago, from a corner. So close to the end, beat Manchester City of all teams. Brighton looking to knock out Manchester United and play Manchester City here in June. It's over the top from March. Just too high for Solly March to head down. Nearly a case of March in April to play in June. Very good. Maybe. Awkward for wan -Bissaka. less so for Mitoma. Been encouraged to go for it here. 
just overran it and uh, in his wish to it was a, a genuine attempt to keep the ball but it was a late lunge and yeah and he caught uh, Casemiro yeah he as he as he just really swiped the ball away can be no complaints and indeed there weren't no as you can see he's he's tackling out of distance as well Either scored or assisted in all four of Brighton's cup ties in the earlier rounds to get to the semi final. I've got to say, Wambasak has played him well because he certainly is a threat coming off the left onto his favoured right side. It costs a lot of money for the fans to purchase tickets for today and much as they would like their respective teams to have booked a place to return in June, they wouldn't mind an extra half an hour for their cash. Well, I do think they're going to get it yeah. and uh, no one's leaving. I'm sure there's drama in store. Gross. March. Out to Matoma. Saw skipping out on the gallop. Casemiro, but it's uh, the end of the 90 minutes. Craig Paulson had a bit of time dealing with uh, a lot of challenges in the efforts to get to the FA Cup final. De Gea made an excellent save from Enciso in particular in March later on. Brighton look low, they might have the freshness and they can show that in extra time. But we reach it and we go to 15 minutes each way, remember, at Brighton nil, Manchester United nil. <laughs> extra time at Wembley, second FA Cup semi final, Brighton nil, Manchester United nil. A change during the. Uh, End of 90 minutes before we restart. Marcel Savitzer is on for Anthony. Formalities start again. Always, of course, gets interesting when it's a toss for penalties, which end when you've got a ground like this where it clearly belongs, one end belongs to Brighton, one end belongs to Manchester United. But we might not get that far, we might. It's been. Uh, a well-matched semi-final, and Savica has his chance to make a mark on it. Yeah, and I think first time maybe Ten Hag will change the shape of his team with Savica coming into that midfield area. Bruno Fernandes, I think, will play slightly wider, but not on the touchline. Here's Fred, came on the... As well, of course, as did Jaden Sancho. Veltman and Undav for Brighton. Dunk. The love across. How much is it a reboot when you have that 90 minute break and you go again? You the coach, we saw the cup both coaches having uh, strong words, but they do they penetrate the ears of the players? Well, get there. But there might be one or two little instructions delivered, but. Very much the same. I'm sure they're preaching exactly the same as they did from the start of the game. I don't think the players really want to stop. They just want to get into the extra time period as well. It's 
good try. Well, Casemiro's just dropped a little bit deeper to pick up McAllister. He's playing the furthest forward of those Brighton midfield players. Finding the space, striking the shot. Stadium a little bit flat, Marty. I think they're going again. They're getting there. <laughs> Not much chance to go out and get a cup of tea here. Big cues. And we're back, of course, where we were in the first half with the teams attacking the end where their supporters aren't. Maybe that's partly responsible for it. But Brighton attacking, that's what matters. March again. Fred gets a foot in, cleared by Lindelof and Rashford saying, can you just have rolled it into me? Well, they certainly learnt Manchester United from that earlier strike from Solly Marsh when he comes in off that right side onto his favoured left foot. Quickly, Casemiro was across. They were happy to keep sending him across the field. Back to Webster. It's been a defender's day so far. Despite the best efforts of some very talented attackers. Short. Back around the corner by Casemiro. Dunk was in. As if emphasising the point that defenders are having a good afternoon. Now early evening here. And Martin. Bruno Fernandes is, is definitely limping, he's not moving freely at all now. Since since the stop after the end of 90 minutes, he Gross. seems to have seized up. Oh, Undav. Oh. A very poor touch. And a very good chance evaporates for Brighton. Really neat, tidy passing from Brighton and Undav just needs that first touch as it's fed through to him. And that's a heavy it. touch away. Brighton press on again. Undeterred. Dunk. Estupignan. Very deep cross. Dallo underneath it. Gross. Lovely turn. Cross for the Toma to. Long just for Matoma. But he appreciates the, uh, the talent and the technique and the tactic. Come on. I just sense, Martin, that Manchester United are becoming a little weary. Don't quite have that spring in their step. It's understandable. It's obviously related to being in Spain, finishing late on the Thursday. But the schedule for month after month really has been very demanding and a lot of competition. Of course, you're doing well when you're in those competitions. And that's the chance. What's an opportunity for substitute Undav? The Serbi's not happy. All about that first touch that sets you up for the strike. Good header by Estupinian. Kaiseido. Tenacious work. Uh, McAllister. It's brilliant for McAllister. The way that he rolls it off the outside of his right boot around Lindelof, holds him at bay. In the end, the Manchester United centre half just has to haul him down. Look, pulling his shirt. Not going to let him run away, he takes the yellow card. Well, that's a decent try. We haven't had many long range shots. And that from uh, Caicedo. So both centre backs are booked for Manchester United. And Casemiro in front of them. Yeah, 
And that, just that tired challenge, the lunge that can be so costly. <laughs> Duncan's another header. Only played once for England, the Brighton fans think that's uh, very much unfair. He hasn't had greater recognition. Well, an outstanding defender, there's no doubt about that, but for me, starts everything off that's good about Brighton. Confident on the ball will start their moves off. I'm talking of confidence on the ball. Here's Jaden Sancho. Dallo, Sancho, feed it in, a good glance by Sabitzer, just needed a bit more contact. But that's what he does from that midfield position, you can see he's the furthest forward United player as that ball's crossed into the edge of the six-yard box. It's a clever header, just trying to ease it back into that far post area fraction off with a direction space for Brighton March little uh, telegraph for Gross Sancho halfway through the first period of extra time A one-sided semi-final yesterday, anything but here today. No, this is as close as it can be. Sancho, Dalla. That's a run from Rashford, the flag has stayed down. Back for Sancho. A swing and a miss from Fred. Flag offside. Gone up. Yeah, he did look offside, but he, we've <laughs> learned to wait like the assistants wait. We have to wait, Martin. Yeah. Ian Hussin. See Rashford taking off. Dunk steps up to come in line with Webster. And Rashford is offside. Manchester United have got uh, Mount Veghorst. And Tyrell Malassia ready to come on. Here's uh, Mitoma. Still Mitoma. Oh, wrong decision. That has been the story, particularly for Brighton, I think. Well, Undov makes a good angle, but I just thought Mitoma was going to take it on his own. Go straight through the middle like Mares did here yesterday. He did brilliantly to sort of evade the attentions of Lindelof, then trying to slide it into Undov's path. It's what a chance that was to go on and strike from Mitoma. Bruno Fernandes race is finally run. Uh, Wan Bissaka's off as well. So Dallo will go to right back. Malassia to left back. And Veghorst, one assumes, will either play right through the middle, right up top, or just off. He's done that a couple of times. On loan from Burnley, not everybody's cup of tea, but for Eric Ten Hag, he's like, uh, he brought him in, knows him from Dutch football, of course. Well, a different option. Yeah. A genuine target, man. There he goes. Exactly for that. Just that physical presence, the challenge, the target to go into. Gets Rashford back on the left, which uh, I think he... Particularly wants to play through the middle. 
Well, Sancho has gone right. Rashford's come back out to the left now. Vigors is going straight through the middle. Here's Casemiro. Pocket picked by Undaf. Certainly had the best chance of uh, extra time, but he didn't make the best use of that forward run. And now it's four against four. Here's Fred. It's a real chance for Manchester United, and, and there was a cutback that was on. Instead, he tried to slide it across from where Veghorst might have got a tap in. Rashford can't make any progress. Feltman loses out. Malassia, Casemiro, he loses out. Caicedo driving forward. Mitoma, who's done so much for Brighton this season. And again, so near, yet so far. Well, the chances for both teams have come from just sloppy passes in the final third that could end up being costly at the other end of the field. Undov's ended up with Manchester United and Fred in this position. He's trying to find Vigles. I thought the cut back for Sancho was the ball. That has to be so precise to find Vigles. But Sancho on the edge of the box was furious with Fred. But if you were playing, you'd want where Fred played it. Yeah, but you've got to get across <laughs> the front post to, in that in that respect because yeah. it was just such a difficult ball to deliver for Fred, and Sancho was in such a, a better position, but he, he just wasn't aware of him. I say that having commentated on many a goal that you scored in that predatory position. Almost at the end of the first period of extra time. And that's what happens when a centre forward comes on and you have to contest those aerial duels. Dunks on the floor. Caught, he's saying he was caught by Vigorst. Well, they're here all ages. It might seem very long to the very young. <laughs> Still got plenty to go here, and we're still in that state of uncertainty about the second team to complete the FA Cup final. It's a yeah. wonderful competition. Well, nothing between these sides. Webster. Ooh. Caicedo's giving it away. Rashford. Fred. Sancho, Rashford, wonderful save by Sanchez, wonderful save. That is a sensational save because I think it takes a deflection on the way through Martin as well. It's set brilliantly for Marcus Rashford to strike. Brighton overplaying, Manchester United, and there's the set from Sancho and the strike just clipping Webster's leg. Hits his left shin, bounces up, great reaction from the keeper. Yeah, he took it even further away, but he's a very tall man, Sanchez. He used the, all of the reach there. Fred. Robert Sanchez. The full extent of him. Well, by Moving ball. Even if the referee didn't spot it, VAR would have spotted it. So. Yeah, and it wasn't from uh, taken from the right place either, Martin. Well, that doesn't always deter referees. <laughs> well, here we are, half time. Still nothing on the scoreline. Absolutely nothing between these two semi-finalists. But Robert Sanchez kept that alive, that situation, with the moment of the half at his end and Undav's failure at the other end. Uh, could have given Brighton the lead, but still no goals. We have a pause and then we go again for 15 more minutes. Well, for the final period, Martin, they're playing towards their own support. 
is that going to be advantageous? Who's going to make the most noise and draw their team in? Well, when you uh, go to see uh, a variety show, top of the bill comes on last. And this period of extra time might top what we've seen so far, which has been engrossing. And lacked only that real killer moment, that top, top quality in the uh, final third. And the occasional time it has happened, the goalkeepers have been right up to the challenges they faced. Yeah, but it's been a fantastic contest, it really has. Malassia. I'm sure Craig Porson saw all of that, but he did uh, recognise it was a goal kick. No protests from uh, Manchester United. Well, the players weren't, but the, the, certainly the supporters are trying to influence <laughs> yeah. the referee there, which happens. Yeah. We've all done it. <laughs> Dunk. And Webster. And Lure. Big horse in, make him run. And then, uh, keep the move going forward. Sometimes you have to go back to go forward. Webster not being pressed. Eventually. March couldn't force a way through. Fred. Stopped by Caicedo, it breaks from March. Under, Solly March. Still Solly March. And he got his shot off. But, uh, complaining that he was being fouled as he tried to manoeuvre himself into that shooting position. It's good work from Fred in the end because he stays really close to Solly March. Doesn't allow him to really get the frosty in the shot. And De Gea's in the right place. It's a free kick to Brighton. That one falling on the ball and handling it, Rashford thought. There's a tension in the stadium there, there isn't is, there? Yeah. You can just feel it going yeah. into this last period. Including you and me. <laughs> and it'll be a big moment to witness here. Undaf. Savica for Manchester United. Another of the substitutes, Jaden Sancho. Galano right back on the run. Matoma trying to stay with him, but not stopping the cross. Rashford won't reach it. Well, he actually does well to get the cross in, does Dallow. Matoma chased him all the way back to the byline. But no one in that back post area. Now it's been uh, an epic contest. Dallow. Short. Craig Pawson has used uh, quite a lot of refereeing now to make sure that we've reached this stage with 11 versus 11 still on the field. Uh, a number of players have been booked and those players have made questionable challenges, some of them, which could have led to a second yellow card. Short. Manchester United's throw. Well, it's good pressure from Gross, puts Luke Shaw under pressure, but he's Clearance deflected away for the United throw-in. It's been an amazing uh, renaissance for Luke Shaw. He had a terrible injury when he first joined Manchester United, then fell out of favour with Jose Mourinho. He's uh, really become one of the senior members of the squad. One of the first names on the team sheet. And Beltman went a long way. Again, that's consistency from Craig Porson. He's not been picky. Is he going to make of that? I'm not going to be picky about that either, I don't think. Well, Ten Hag's going crazy yeah. in the technical area. He felt that 
Veltman pulled Rashford back. Veltman said he was fouled by Rashford. Yeah. And we'll see it here. Probably here. Oh, it's a close. That's a close one, Martin. Because for me, Rashford's got the run on Veltman. He's mm. slightly goal side. The check is complete, so it's not going anywhere else. <laughs> for a moment, Veltman's headed off towards the tunnel, <laughs> but of course he was just moving into his right back area. And that, I'm going, have we seen a card? Missed the card? No, no card. No, the foul's given against yeah. Marcus Rashford. Dunk. Oh, and uh, Lindelof is struggling. I think he was clipped, and then he uh, then he hobbled. Yeah. And he's now <laughs> demonstrating with the referee. Yeah, the hobble's gone, I think. And Rashford's running. Could this be the moment for Manchester United? Beckhorst unmarked in the middle. Rashford wants it for himself, and this season it's a surprise when he misses. Well, missing the target, yes, because. All of a sudden, Marcus Rashford is giving Veltman a really difficult time on the right side of Brighton's defence. Just that pace getting in behind him. The touch takes him a little wide, but then he comes back on his favoured right foot. And the only disappointment is he hasn't hit the target. We've seen it so often this season. Not with himself. Stupinian. Well, he's uh, lost the ball in his back horse. He's lost the ball via it looked like a handball. Here goes Matoma slugging it out here, these two. And that was the right decision because Matoma just skipped past Allo and he stepped across his path. Dunk. And up. Matoma. Trying to tease tired defenders. Gross. Ooh. Get it through to McAllister. Fast goal, Gross again. March. Get into uh, his shooting position. Matoma. To weave it through. Still going, Matoma. It's a foul on De Gea, I think. Was hammered into the side netting by Estupinian. We've well, got so close, so often. It was quite brilliant from Brighton. The interchange, the takeovers, Matoma's run. Solly Marsh, a little takeover with Matoma. Then he slides it. And Matoma follows his run and catches De Gea was right that, at the end of it. Was that any different to Matoma catching... Uh, was it? They've got uh, a first yellow card, didn't they? The stupid man. Casemiro was it? He caught. Yeah. He's, oh, he's a bit late again. Fraction heavy, but late with a challenge. Yeah. It's not dissimilar. Here's the real poster boy of Japanese football now. Kaoru Matoma. Took a while to uh, get into Bright's team on a regular basis. But De Zerbi saw the potential. <laughs> no one knows. It's the joy of football. The tension, as Clive says, in the stadium. The extremes of emotion that will be around this ground when finally there is a rule drawn between the two, whether it's a goal in extra time or the shootout. And March has done very well. Keep uh, driving at the team. It's not made any concession to that ankle injury.
We're looking at five, maybe six minutes. Dunk. Stahaya's ball. Short. Malassia playing it plenty. Put forward again, and chased by Veghorst. Sued by Beltman. That is a foul. Veghorst was winning the race. Beltman was trying to see it out. Martin, just a silly challenge from Veltman, because Veghorst is at full pace running into the corner. First of all, he's got to control the ball. And you can see here, it just eases him away from it. There's no need to make that challenge. How costly could this be? Hundred and seventeenth minute at Wembley. Savitzer over the ball. Takes it. Wastes it. Uh, you can see Casemiro, he's pointing to say to Sabitza that has to be going into that near post area, into the six yard box. Totally over here. Fred, on the other hand, put out the hand of sympathy to Savitzer as he ran past it. Rashford, Fred, Malassia, Casemiro, good stop again, really clever from Casemiro, everybody thought he was going to release the ball and he dragged it back inside to give himself the chance to strike, comes back inside, Casado, not quite in the corner, Sanchez again, down smartly. Sancho, Manchester United fancy this. Turn on the star right at the end, numbers in the box. Played in by Casemiro. Only passed away by March, collected by Shaw. It's deflected into the gloves of Robert Sanchez. Yeah, Tight just, calves. Yeah, absolutely. Might have to take a penalty with those tight calves. And up. So kick to Brighton. Started extra time well. Manchester United finishing it well. Yeah, they're finishing finishing the uh, the final period of this game strongly are Manchester United. Matoma. That's Dupignan. That's good tracking by Fred. Grossman made his way into the box behind him. March. Still Sully March for Brighton. Corner. Well, he's trying to cut it back and he's deflected into the side netting. Did brilliantly to evade the attentions of Malassia. Gets to the byline. Fred can't make the challenges in the in the box, and there, Luke Shaw deflects it into the side netting. Well, it's becoming quite a chilly evening, but Deserby wiping the sweat from his brow. Well, the seagulls fly high. Is there a player playing for the club nicknamed the Seagulls who can fly high here and win? The semi-final. Kaiseido. Craig Pawson looks at his watch. Still time on it to play. And he'll probably take a penalty. McAllister certainly will. I think they're all pre preparing themselves for that, yeah. Martin. Yeah. There's a second's run down. 
What about Jaden Sancho? Referring back to the Euro final, Marcus Rashford. I think that's clearly a case, Martin, where if you ask those players and they, they, they're happy to take them, you put them up and they take them. If they don't want to, they don't take them. It's as simple as that. It's a simple question and answer. Well, we might not get to it yet. This is one last chance for Manchester United. One last minute. Not like that. We go to penalties to decide who plays Manchester City in the FA Cup final. They've been at it hammer and tongs for two hours. A purposeful play, progressive play, but not penetrating play. Both goalkeepers have made significant saves. And it is goalless as we go to the shootout. Callister first yeah. up for Brighton. The main penalty taker. Who knows what's riding on this. It's a very isolated position to take a penalty in the shooter. Everybody else back on the halfway line. It's only the goalkeeper who's trying to spoil your evening. He's, uh, in the sidelines. The shootout starts now. And McAllister fires it home. Fine penalty. Fabulous. To get your team in front. And he hands it over to Sanchez now. as Casemiro comes forward for Manchester United. All they can do is watch and hope. Here goes Casemiro, and he scores. Well, he's seen and done just about everything, hasn't he? And he didn't look phased at all. Pascal Gross. He's uh, in the Europa League final. David De Gea had to take one. And we'll get that far in this shootout. Wait and see. Gross. He's taken penalties for Brighton before, but not with a perfect record. But that's as good as it gets. Absolutely, Martin. That is a superb strike. Pace, direction, De Gea no chance. And the Brighton end trying to do all they can to distract the opposition. It's now Diogo Dallo. Expertly dispatched the three we've seen so far. Ballo with quite a straight run up here. It's unusual. Now a little chimney to the side. And uh, he went the right way, Robert Sanchez. He's annoyed that he didn't get there, but it was hit hard enough and accurate enough by Dallow, and we're 2 2. Absolutely, Martin. That was why it ended up in the back of the net. It's brilliantly struck with pace, giving Sanchez no chance to get across to it. That's the substitute, Dennis Undav. 
had one or two uh, moments where he might have edged the game Brighton's way. Short approach here. Bahia dances on the line. Bundav, ooh, that's right in the corner again. Brilliant accuracy. Has to be struck, certainly, with an accuracy from that sort of short run-up, and he does. There goes the right way, can't get across to it. Well, here is a brave young man. Jaden Sancho. With an unhappy history in this ground. Going to his country. It's almost as if he wants to put that to bed with a successful penalty here, and he's done that. Well played, Jaden Sancho. Well done, young man. That is pressure of the highest order, and that is brilliantly dis dispatched. Travis Estupinian. That's uh, maybe a word from uh, Sanchez, maybe not even that, it's just a look. And Martin, people say players shouldn't miss penalties, they'd have practised them and practised them but this on is the pressure. training field, but not under this sort of pressure. He looks nervous, Estupinian. Can he convert? The answer is yes. Well, he waited, he waited for De Gea to drop to his right-hand side and then just pulled it back into the open side of the net. Well, the longer it goes, the greater the pressure. And now it is time for Marcus Rashford. Brighton have scored all four, Manchester United have equalised each time up to three. Rashford wants to keep that sequence going. Desperately wants to keep that sequence going. Robert Sanchez will have his own ideas. They will certainly prep a Rashford penalty. Little Shimmy Estata, and again, the job done with a certain amount of style. And um, well done, Marcus Rashford, once again. The penalties have been of the highest order in terms of accuracy. David De Gea back on duty. Lewis Dunk. Mr Brighton. Mr. Brighton, no bigger moment than this in his career. What will be the technique? Maybe a dink from Dunk. But I doubt it. He scores and celebrates with all those fans who adore him. And the pressure really on the fifth penalty taker, which is Marcel Sabitzer for Manchester United. Well, all five converted by Brighton. And the cheerleader. It would be appropriate, I guess, certainly from Brighton's point of view, if his penalty was the winning penalty. But that to happen, Sabitzer has to fail here. And he's a very experienced campaigner, international with Austria. Lots of European football. Just got a hand to it, Sanchez, but couldn't keep it out. Well, the further down the list we go, you would say like a batting order, they're there for a reason. If you're not in the top five... They're not the first choices. Not the first choices, no. Well, one centre-back has done it for Brighton now, Adam Webster. Steps into the furnace of a 
Wembley penalty shootout. Again, a short approach. Webster waits. Webster scores. Six out of six for Brighton and Hove Albion. And dare I say it, Martin, there's not been one that's been mishit in terms of the strike and the quality of technique of penalties has been first class. Oh, well, Veghorst lost the penalty shootout in the World Cup, having scored two goals for the Netherlands. He did score in his shootout escapade, but his team ran out to Argentina. So he's a pretty cool customer. Manchester United need him to convert here, and he does. Well, that's the perfect 12 penalties, six each. And we still can't separate Brighton and Manchester United in this FA Cup semi-final. Well, it couldn't be any closer. It really has been outstanding penalty kicks from both sets of players. Solly March on the march to the penalty spot. Been ruthless, the taking of the penalties so far, peerless. Well, I think it's just been Sanchez who's got one hand to one but couldn't keep it out. The rest have been dispatched perfectly. Here goes March. Oh, he's got it. And Manchester United celebrate, but they've still got to convert. We've seen it before, one misses and then the other team does the same. It's Victor Lindelof. March distraught. Another light dunk who works for the club that he loves. And kept on going. So Victor Lindelof to put Manchester United into the FA Cup final. Already winners of the EFL Cup. And he's done it. It's a Manchester derby. Here in June, Brighton are distraught, the difference, one penalty kick, five Allen. Seven perfectly taken penalties, just one slightly missed kick from Solly March that has been the difference between these two sides in this FA Cup semi-final, but sets up a Manchester derby final.